So first up on the list is Hedwig to evolve. So we were originally thinking Tootsie, but then we thought, oh, no, Owl, White, it's Hedwig. It was a female too. And then we named our Venipede S'more. Um, why? I don't know. He's he kind of just looks like a burnt little charcoal. Not, I mean, that looks like a burnt marshmallow right there, but when he evolves again, um, not as much, so. So we chose to name our Delta Pidgey Woodstock after uh, the little bird from Charlie Brown. Although he doesn't look anything like it, he's just a little bird and we like the name Woodstock. So that's what we went with. But it is now S'more's turn to evolve into Scolipede. And let's see why we called you S'more. He's just got a little, little fire, he's a little burnt marshmallow, a little ashy, you know. He's trying to learn horn attack. I'm good. It is time for Woodstock to evolve into his final evolution, Pidgeot. He does have a mega version, um, but he's... The Cockatrice Pokemon from what I remember. Um, so he's body of a bird with a l snake dragon tail, one of those. So, yeah. It is now time for Harpuia to evolve into the Ponyard. That ain't a Pokemon. That's a Ninja Power Ranger with the Rasen Shuriken. Let's go. It is now Hothead's turn to evolve into the bigger Hothead that he is. It's just a... Just the face of evil right there. He's like, I I'm here to take you off and then drop you up from the sky. <laughs> so we have not seen this Pokemon yet because it was in the egg originally, but Batwoman is going to evolve into the bigger bat. Little sonar bat. So she's pretty. Big fan. So we decided to name our um our Pikachu Uler. Uh, Uller is a uh, Greek god of snowboarding and stuff like that. We didn't really know uh, any like professional uh, female snowboarders or anything like that, so that's what we went with. Um, so you evolved by either a Moonstone or a Shiny Stone. And we are at the Witch Doctor right now as well, because we wanted to go ahead and show you what the... Uh, what Mr. Tail is going to look like. So. With the Huntail, you give him the Dragon Fang. Uh, for Gorbis, you give him, or her, the uh, Dragon Scale. So, Mr. Mister T for short, but it's Mr. Tail, because he's Huntail. Get it? Get it? Ah. Uh. And then Mystery. So we know it's not a seahorse, but we decided we wanted to go with this for the Spongebob reference. Uh, Mystery, the seahorse. Um... Again, it's not a seahorse, but it kind of looks like one. Uh, it's probably not a Pokemon we're going to use a whole lot, so that's what we went with. Um, but we went and bred our clam pearl that we had with our Delta Ditto, uh, so that we were able to do this. Uh, yeah, so that's all the evolutions from the last episode, so let's get Hello guys, welcome back to the next episode of Pokemon Insurgents by Lion Ripe. So, as you've seen, we have evolved all the Pokemon, all the Delta Pokemon that we caught uh, from the last episode. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but we also nicknamed our Delta Heatmore uh, Shigo from Kim Possible, the little green girl. Um, so now we're on Route 5. We're going to go back to where the, um, the like Dreamland is and see what's going on there. What is going on? What is going on? Also, that Pinsir versus that Tyranitar, like that Tyranitar is for sure winning. Bronzong is winning versus Skunk Tank, uh, but it has Flamethrower, so there's a good chance it wins. Line Ripe! Oh, it's great to see you! We're not in such a great state right now. Well, no crap! Here, come on into the gym. There's a back entrance. We need to talk. Dad! Hello, Dad! I'm so glad you came back. You really have a knack for showing up at the right time. Erebus City is a mess right now. That Deoxys virus that followed you down here? Well, remember all of Persephone's cultists that Darkrai sent down? They've all gotten changed. 
They're all part of that old guy's side now. I'm not exactly sure how it works. We're trying our best to hold them off. I've been fighting dozens at once, but there's too many of them. We need a trump card. Lysander's trump card? Line ripe, I'm not sure how much you know about how the dream realm works. Obviously, it exists in your mind, all of this. But humanity's dream realm is all of all one land. There aren't separate realms for each person. The parts of the dream realm for each person are separated by dangerous badlands. In theory, by traveling through the badlands, you could end up in somebody else's dream realm. It's dangerous. Nobody's really ever tried. But somewhere in the center of it all, connecting the realms, is Rem Village. Rapid eye movement. According to the stories, is the place between all the dream, rea dream realms, where Darkrai rests. We need to convince Darkroy to join us. A Pokemon like that could surely turn the tides of battle. Will you help us? Mm. I want to say no, but like I am the auger, so like I have to. I have a Pokemon that can teleport you to Prion Town, but from there you'll have to make your own way. Making my way to the Badlands. Bah, 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 bah. I believe in you. Come on out, Alakazam. Teleport me. Alright, so we are at Prion site now. Um, Let's see where we need to go. Well, there's a potion. A hyper potion. Let's go down. See what's going on in Prion Town? Welcome to your dream realm. Um, I just want to know where I need to be. Hello? 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 Head northeast as quickly as possible. North. East. There's nothing northeast. I mean, there's a great ball. Um, is it in that cave? Let's go in the cave. Cave. I need to go through the nightmare badlands to find Darkrai. Is that? An ancient stump with some sort of antenna. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, so we gotta we gotta put on our hacking boots. Ooh, there's a dark eye cultist. Hello. Uh, we're gonna pass you. Looker. Um. Mm, climb first. Avoid later. Oh man. Man. There's something here. Dang. Alright, so we have to battle this guy. Oh, we could have gone around him. No! Go back to your dream realm, kid. Alright, Darkrai Cultist. <laughs> you want Anubis to mess you up? Because Anubis will mess you up. Even if he isn't very good. I didn't heal. Whoopsie. Whoopsie! Power Punch. Just get another free plus attack off of it. Cool. So we left Jim Bay in our party while we are kind of just chilling. We're going to leave him out there because we still have foul play. Which is super effective against this tree. Goodbye, tree. It was nice knowing you, tree. Alright, so Dusknor, we are definitely leaving you out here. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. Times two. Because we just couldn't quite finish it off. It's fine. It should. So I had the Lucky Egg on it while I was leveling up. I should put the Delta Lucario Knight back on it. I'll do that at the next cutscene though. For right now, it's fine having the Lucky Egg. So, let's go down. Didn't mean to run into a wild Gothitelle? Interesting. 
Um, I mean, Pokeball. Always got to get the Pokeball. Even if it does. To oh, all of that for an X Speed 3. Boo! I wanted gold. I. W Did I just get soft locked in here? It's very possible I just soft locked myself in here because he ran up and trapped me in right there. I hope not. I hope not. I mean, I don't even know if I can fly in this area to like get out of here. Otherwise, I'll have to like reset. All right, so then that's gonna come out. That's fine. All right, so let's see. Let's see if I can if he moves out of the way. Oh, he does move out of the way. Come on, keep moving. There we go. Thank goodness. Thank. Goodness. Uh, let's go this way. Wild Spear Tomb. That we don't want to battle. We don't want to battle you either. So that way is probably just an extension of from where we came. So let's keep going this way. Oh boy. A hyper Potion. Uh, we are going to go ahead and pop a Max Repel though. Because medicine's not where I'm trying to be. I don't want to have to do miscellaneous clips. So super repel, rar. Good to go. Good to go. Alright, so another cultist. I don't know how we didn't start a battle right there. Uh, we'll go up. We're in Rim Village now. Okay. Lava. Oh no, absolutely not. You are not beating me to Rim Village. I don't even have any assistance anymore. That virus turned all the members of my group into weird Deoxys things. You've already trapped me down here in the miserable hole. And then I learned that Darkrai lives here? My only chance of escaping? I've been here for days trying to climb my way up. You are not going to beat me there. You've taken everything from me, but you're not going to take this. Darkrai is mine. I am going to figure a way out of here. You're going down, sugar. Sugar, we're going down swinging. Persephone is going to battle us. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, because my team isn't very good, but we'll foul play. So we, the Mega Spear Tomb comes out. He has his weird arm things. Sucker Punch. Oh, we're just dead. That's fine. Do we have a fairy Pokemon? No, we don't. Honestly, this team that we brought wasn't very great, but it's fine. So we'll send out Nagini. So Nagini gained a lot of uh, experience while we were uh, level grinding some of our Pokemon up, um, especially because we gave it the um, the lucky egg on top of, I don't know why I said that Nagini, I forgot Nagini was dark type. Um, the lucky egg plus it gets the traded boost. Uh, so it's probably going for a dark pulse again. So let's go, I don't know. We might have messed ourselves up here. Just a full restore, that's kind of annoying actually. Um, let's Will-O-Wisp again. Oh, oh will o wisp why didn't you hit? Alright, the good news is he's trying to go for that Sucker Punch, because it's probably his best move. So, that's the good news. Then we're going to go for this Aqua Ring. So, we're healing a little bit while he's not healing a little bit. Uh, we'll go for the... I think Surf's going to be better here over Fiery Dance, because he's not really doing special attacks. He's doing all physical attacks. And then Surf knocks it out. Busted. Alright, Jimbe wants to learn Glare. No, thank you. Nagini's level 99. Eclipso. Ooh, you want to send an Alakazam. Ooh. Um. 
Do I think Nagini... Oh, there's no way Nagini is faster. I think we just have to send out... Keep Calypso in there and pray. And honestly, I'm not even going to go for that Will-O-Wisp. Yeah. I'm, I was just trying to see if I could damage it more. And we couldn't. Uh, let's go for a Hyper Potion here. On on Calypso. Calypso's fine. I think Calypso can survive a little bit. Which means... Uh, can we survive one? No, we're going to do one more. And then we're going to go for a Will-O-Wisp. And slowly just start trying to trickle it away. Yeah, so 294. So it was like 148. So I was going to do 150. So I will survive this as long as this Will-O-Wisp... Oh, he goes for a Shadow Ball. That's a different attack. Okay, so my special defense drops. Um, we're gonna, we're kind of doing what we did with uh, Jacqueline, where we're cheesing a little bit. All right, so the focus blast missed, so that gives us an extra turn to just surf. Energy ball, okay. So the energy ball did a lot. Good news is, and we're gonna aqua ring. Oh, the full restore. Okay, aqua ring is already going. Didn't even realize that. Alright, so we'll Will-O-Wisp again. Alright, so the cheese didn't even work. We're bad. We're gonna have to reset. Because there's no way that Nagini is faster. Nope. Nope. Ra's not gonna be able to do anything. And we'll go for a Brave Bird just to see if we can do big boy damage, but he's just going to get almost one. I mean, he's going to die to himself anyway. Focus Sash. Alright, so we'll go... This guy... Alright, our trusty steed. Scizor. Twin Sickle. Twin Sickle, my dear, you've carried us through the game for the most part. Can you 1v4 the rest of their team for us? Is that possible? Metagross? I mean... Uh, close combat? So close. We're gonna die. <laughs> we are alive! We're barely breathing! I'm on the edge. Oh, Gengar is going to mess me up, though. All right. And the thing is, I don't think any of the Pokemon I, like, revive are going to be good enough to do anything against a Gengar. So let's send in Jinbei. Go for a, re a revive on... Um... Nagini? Anubis? Nagini? Go with Nagini. Dazzling Gleam. Okay. Our level 57 survived. Huh. So we'll use another revive on... Calypso. I think... Definitely, Ra has to come off the team. Ra has just not been a good contender for us. It's definitely probably the moves that we have on him, but like he hasn't done enough to make it worth it in my book. Um, I don't know if um, you know, I have all the faith in Nagini. Nagini is with full health can survive an attack. I want to see how much it is actually going to do. Not really. And I know I'm not faster. But I could be super cheesy and just let the life orb. That is a play. It's a boring play. I'm not getting full health though. I'm going to have to use like a full restore. Yeah, that's not going to work. But my defiant made my attack and special defense go up. Um, Let's see if I can get some more defiant stuff going off. Uh, we'll go for a full restore, I guess. 
I have a max potion somewhere, but I don't know where they're at. Oh, no. Since we had that special defense drop, we just died. We just died. Alright, so Calypso, my dear. Um, I need you to do something for me. I need you at half health to survive. I need you to survive. And I'm not sure you will survive. No, you're thick. No, you're not. No, you're not. So I know the Gengar, Gengar is one of the fastest ones, so I'm not going to... Eh, I might be able to kill it. He's fragile. We'll see if we get lucky. Survive! Nope. Twinsicle. Honestly. Take me away! We survived against the Gengar. Dang, I was hoping I was like, is Twinsicle faster? Because if Twinsicle was faster, we would have knocked it out. So, let's go get Pokemon that don't suck. And we'll rematch real fast. Let's try this again now. Let's see if we can do this. So, we know the Spiritomb likes to, I mean, it's going to Mega Evolve. It also likes to use Sucker Punch. So we're going with the Toxic Spikes to work on the people who aren't um, necessarily this Pokemon or Gengar. Uh, so he's probably going to go for another Sucker Punch. Let's see if we can get a free switch in. Yep, got that free switch. We got Heliophobia going on right now. Let's just Moonblast and knock it out. Aw, just shy. It's fine. He will o wisps I mean, that doesn't really do a whole lot for us, or for, against us, but that's fine. Our Heliophobia is going to basically heal the damage that it would be doing. So he's just going to keep... He's going to keep full restoring and cheesing. And we just keep making a special attack drop, but, like, it's not making enough of a difference. So he withdrew into Houndoom. That's an interesting call right there. Um, I mean, we'll just kill the Houndoom. He really wants to keep his Spiritomb safe, apparently. So, like, that's fine. Gengar. Um, I think we have the hope that Nagini can survive one hit and do a lot of damage in the process. So let's go for a Shadow Ball. And that's exactly what he's going to do against us. Life Orb goes off, and we're going to kill it. Focus Sash. No, his Life Orb. Oh man, so we're just going to... Destiny Bond. Okay, so he's just going to take us down with it. Okay. That's fine. That's a fair trade. Um, so let's bring... Um... I don't know. Let's bring Calypso out. Let's bring Calypso out. So, let's go... Fiery Dance? Alright, so we survived this... We sur Ooh, we got the proc on it. Let's go. So, I think another Fiery Dance might be enough. Aw, just shy. Just shy. Um, I have a feeling he's going to... Uh, he's just going for the kill. He's just going for the kill. Awesome. Alright, so Twinsicle's going to come out now. And then we're going to Mega Evolve, and we're going to Ice Shard. And he's not going to use a full restore, and everything's going to be good in the hood. And it's going to be awesome. Cool. So, let's get that. Metagross is going to come out now. Uh, that's fine. We're going to be able to survive this. So, we're going to close combat. Kill it. Hoggers. 
Poggers. Awesome. So we're 104 now. Uh, Hydreigon. Perfect. You know what that means. That's going to be an immediate. Just Ice Shard for the knockout. So let's. This is going a lot better since we have like actual Pokemon that aren't just dying left and right. We'll bring out him. Him is going to be the final fish finisher for us. Uh, I mean, I think we could have just left um, Twin Sickle out there, but Moonblast is going to finish them off now. So this went a lot better when we don't have the Pokemon that are bums that don't actually do things like raw. So it's fine. I don't even know why I get surprised at this point. I don't know what kind of dumb plot armor you have, but it's not something I can beat on my own. But I can wait. Darkrai's been around for longer than you have, and it'll be around for longer than you will. It'll come back here eventually. I am patient. I can outlast you. That I know. Ooh, the inner window there. I'll be seeing you again real soon, Lion Ripe. Alright, so we're gonna cut, we're gonna go heal, we're gonna come back here, and we'll be right back. So, we have healed... Uh, we had to battle one trainer that we avoided earlier by accident. Um, whoops. So, we are going to heart swap over this little thing. See what all... what all's going on over here. What all's going on? hi -ya! Ooh. Also, let's go ahead and pop this before... We, uh, run into a Pokemon. I want that item. I want it. I want it. I want it. Give me the thing. I want... Oh, it's just a full restore. Oh, boo. The reveal glass. Ooh, it's a key item. There's no way there's not something like right here. What? Can't surf either. That's lame. Alright, so I think I'm just about to go catch Darkrai. And it's going to be just as simple as that. So let's go up here. We'll go ahead and use another one. The music for the music for this game is so good. Is Darkrai just chilling in this house right here? Because I really hope he is. He is just chilling in the house. That's funny. Alright, Darkrai. I need you to help save the day. Honestly, we're just gonna energy ball and do what. Uh, I did more damage than I thought it was going to. But we're asleep. I'm having a bad dream. Yeah. It's called living. <laughs> Hence why, uh, you know, all of Deoxys people are being turned into Deoxys people. Yeah. Um, who's gonna do an... I think him can do enough to it and not kill it with like a thunderbolt and another thunderbolt all right now we can start chucking some pokeballs at it all right let's play the over under game over under three ancient balls go all right so we're at one Batter up. Strike two. And here's the last pitch. Alright, we're gonna cut until we catch it now. Darkrai was finally caught. Let's go save the day. The pitch black Pokemon. It's only 111 pounds. Interesting. Interesting. I always imagine, like, there's a PC here for a reason. Is it is it because it wants me to add um, Darkrai immediately to my group? Because I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, goodbye, Calypso, for now. Yeah, that's fine. All right. I'm ready to save the world. I made the, the long trek back to Erebus City. You can't hold out forever, Adam. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Would it really be so bad? 
We can promise you peace. We can promise you tranquility. We can promise you immortality. That's nothing to laugh at. A long life like yours isn't a life worth living. That's a tongue twister right there. We're not going to go down easy. Line ripe. Thank goodness you're here. I still think that Pincer is going to get his world rocked. I've been trying to hold them off, but I can't fight on my own forever. I need your help taking them down. They've been attacking Erebus City for, for days. We've been holding on as best as we can. Will you fight with me? I can battle Mauled if you can battle your friend. Together, I'm sure we can fend them off. Father and son, just like it always should have been. Well, isn't this cute? Damien, deal with him. Maybe this will redeem you for giving them that crystal piece. The one thing we had down here. Don't make this any harder than it has to be line ripe. Make this easy for both of us. And just lose. Alright, so I don't know if we actually needed to have Darkrai. Um, but we do. We have Nagini. Against his Deoxys. So, like, it's not a terrible option. So he goes for the knockoff. It's just, we barely survive. Can we kill him? He barely survives, so that's... Alright, so he goes for the full restore. Can we just get lucky and just kill it? We got lucky and we just killed it. Let's go. Nagini's level 100. All right, Metagross. Um, our Pokemon are dead. Uh, Twinsicle, come on out. Because this is probably the... We'll see if it's going to be the crystal one or not. Meteor Mash. Meteor Smash. That's fine. Twinsicle did your job. You close combated. And Blastoise is coming out. Honestly, we're going to switch out here because we want our defenses to be as full as possible. Honestly, Anubis. He's fighting Dark. What moves do you have? Let's start with that. You're sassy. Nasty Plot, Dark Void. Dream Eater and Haze. Uh, we'll go him. It may have, like, I don't think I actually had to have Dark Rides in my party. I think they put that there because they knew there was going to be a battle right there. So we'll Moonblast? The Mega Blastoise Knight. Here comes the Hollow. Goodbye, Blastoise. Alright, Shaman. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Goodbye. Come on back out, Twinsicle. Come on, girl. Honestly, I just want to Ice Shard. I just want to just bop you like that. Yep. Easy. Damien, you are not a sweat. And you still can't talk. No! Impossible! I'm undefeatable! It's over! We've beaten you both. Lion Ripes caught and partnered up with Darkrai, the ruler of this realm. So... I'm invulnerable, undefeatable. So? I was too until they sent me here and tried to wipe Lion Ripe's memory. It was a clever munchkin around... A clever munchkin? Around immortality. I'll give them that. But now that we have Darkrai, we can do the same to you. It's over. You're done. You need to leave. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to free my son's friend. I want him normal. Do you got that? Safe and healthy, just as he was before. After that... You're going to leave forever, scramble off to the Badlands, I don't care, I don't give a crap what you do, and I want these cultists here cured too. I can take care of them afterwards, that's not the problem. Do it. Do it now, or else. Do it. You're a fool. Fine, I'll do it. But, you'll regret this, I promise. Ugh. What, what, what happened? You'll regret this, Adam. You're not the auger anymore, remember that. Yeah, I'm the auger. So, can somebody fill me in on what's going on? You're Damien, right? The trainer from Telnar Town. I'll take care of him, Lion Ripe. He seems to be a bit out of it. I'm so glad you are able to catch Darkrai. I'm not sure how I would have gotten out of that one otherwise. I can't stress this enough, but you're amazing, Lion Ripe. I wish I could have guided you along your journey. I shouldn't have let Jern and Persephone separate us like that. But somehow, even without me, you've grown into twice the trainer I could have grown into. Twice the trainer I could have ever been. 
I'm so proud of you. Listen, I'm going to keep your friend here for the next little while just to make sure he's okay. I'll have him call you when he's feeling a bit better, I promise. So, keep your phone on. Cool. Um, so, let's go... Let's go heal. And we're going to cut, and we'll get you to where the next cutscene is. So, as we were running around, we got this phone call. Uh, hey, it's Damien. Listen, I'm still... I'm still sorting through all my memories from when I was weird. Trying to piece together what happened, you know? And just today, well, I heard there was a nasty storm in Maelstrom 9. There are some things... things I remember about that place. Nothing super clear, but I need to see for myself. It would mean the world to me if you'd come with me. I might need help with whatever is causing the storms, too. Alright, so our journey is going to go to the Maelstrom 9, so we'll see you there in a second. So... We have fully gone back to Maelstrom 9, where we originally battled all the thing that gave us all the anxiety for multiple hours um, with the Lugia and the Kyogre. And we went into this cave just to kind of see what's going on, see where it takes us. Uh, so we are going to pop our flashlight. Hopefully our flashlight works underwater. Um, flashlight, 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 flashlight. Use. Cool. Uh, we are also going to make sure we pop a repel. And... We're gonna see what what's going on down here. So there's gonna be something. Are we gonna get Lugia? Is this how we get Lugia? Because that'd be cool. Or Ky Ooh, this is definitely how we could get Kyogre. It's definitely probably how we're getting Kyogre and Lugia. So, you, there shouldn't be a whole lot of cutting since we have all these repels. Alright, so cave. Cave's usually a good sign. Except for when it just takes you to another area. Um, What are those? Uh, are these like rapid currents? Like if I go... And like forces you to go that way? Interesting. So, um, we're going to figure this out together. At some point. At some point. Propels effect wore off. Yes, I would love to have another one. Okay, so it's basically saying you have to start from the beginning. So, it has to be this one. And it has to be there. Those are all useless. Let's Cross here. Let's come up first. And see what's on this water before we go. Oh, there's a nope, we're gonna go back. There's a TM. Like we saw we saw the rock the climbing area, but we didn't really want to do it just yet. Explosion. Don't know how I feel about explosion. I did not mean to talk to you, Tentamon. You're just in the way. Alright, so let's surf now. So that equals there, so we can just climb up here and go to this cave. Alright, so it's fully light out here now. So... There's an item here. Dang, I, could, I thought I could call it. My gaming instincts have not been good. Alright, we're going to save those to be sure. We're either about to come into like a big boss fight, or about to come across a legendary. Alright, so there... He's there. Yep, so there uh, we were right that we are about to get Lugia and Kyogre. Lugia! I think it's defending Audrey from Kyogre. Lion Ripe, it's injured. That attack from Kyogre, it wasn't normal. It must be holding an item to, of some sort of that of some sort that boosted strength. Damien, is that you? Audrey Mom? Yeah, it's me. The Deoxys thing is gone. I thought that you you no, I'm fine. Kyogre is, sleep is keeping me captive. That's all. Can you help me out? While Kyogre is busy dealing with Lugia, I'm in over my head here. I just want to get out. <laughs> this isn't over. We're going to have to have a very serious talk about everything. Lion Ripe, can you spot me? I'm going in and using my escape rope as quickly as I can. Hopefully the legendary Pokemon won't notice. I'll rush back down as quickly as I can and we can take on Kyogre together. Ready? Go! Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh. Question mark and Kyogre? Oh no, Lugia is battling with me. Uh, let's kill this Tentacruel. And hopefully I can just like catch the uh, the Kyogre like straight up. And hopefully the Lugia doesn't like kill um, Kyogre because that would make me just as sad. And then I find out like I can't catch it. Okay, Energy Ball doesn't do enough to it. It's a level 110. Oh, I just noticed that. My god. Yeah, I don't feel bad about doing an Energy Ball to this thing. Now I'm kind of... Now I'm kind of on edge. Uh, we're gonna hope that uh, it wants to get in our ball. But, you know, it never wants to just be- Lugia! Well dang. How is it that you always end up battling the legendaries? Yeesh, almost like you're more important than everyone else. I guess you're the auger now, so fair enough. It seems the storms and stuff have stopped on the surface, so the problem seems to be dealt with. Thanks for coming with me, Lion Ripe. I'm really glad my mom seems to be alright. I'm really not happy with her, but I don't want her gone, you know? Just, I know it's gonna be hard. Anyways, I really appreciate it. Hopefully, you were able to get something out of this trip. So, I have to cut here, because I have to see if killing Kyogre means I can't catch it anymore. Yeah. So... Surprise! Uh, that's the only opportunity you get to uh, catch Kyogre. So we went back to go catch him real fast. Uh, we won't make you go through the cutscene again. Um, but we caught Kyogre. So one thing that we remembered is that in the original like Silver game, uh, World Islands, I'm pretty sure, was where Lugia was. So after we caught Kyogre, we decided to go to the World Islands, and we remembered there was a waterfall over there. And we're following that right now. And... And here it is. Here is Lugia. I am a huge fan of the song, of Lugia's song. Can I save, like, right in front of it? Cool. That way if I, uh, you know, don't catch it, or kill it, I shouldn't kill it, but, you know. The instance that I had from the the last battle of Kyogre made it kind of... Oh, I poisoned it. Really? Alright, well, we're gonna start chucking balls at it. So, we're gonna give this one five shots before we cut until we catch it. Swan. Uno. Dose. I thought Dose was gonna get it. All right. Trace. Trace was nowhere good. I would like to use my next book one. Thank you very much. Kotor. Alright, well let's see if Cinco can do it. We might go uh, DS afterwards, just because I think it only has one more shot. Yeah, we'll see if the poison kills it. Nope, didn't kill it yet. Didn't kill it yet. But, man, these legendaries are so hard to catch, even with all the right equipment. So, we're gonna cut until we've caught it. It won't be this time, because it's gonna kill itself with poison, so... Alright, so we caught Lugia now. It went a lot better the second time. It only took us, you know, maybe like, seven. Which is still way more than it should be, but, you know, it's fine. 
So that's it for these legendaries. I think that's a great place to wrap up this episode. Uh, so thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, follow, all that good jazz. And we'll catch you next time. Have a good day. Night, morning, evening. You know what's up.